Hi dear students, welcome you all on the behalf of Rahul Anand Biology Tutorial. So, as you know that I am Rahul Anand and this is somewhat around my channel which name is actually the Rahul Anand Biology Tutorials. And today we are going to study about very interesting topics which are often being asked in terms of your need often the aims of the All India Pre-Medical Examination. So these are literally belonging from which of the chapters of your book. So these are belonging from the biomolecules. So today here we are going to study about the amino acid. Remember, so amino acid are what? So amino acid are the micromolecules of the protein. And when we are talking about the case of the here meant of the protein. So protein will be the macromolecules of your amino acid now. So when we are talking about the case of the amino acid. So amino acid are what? So amino acid are the compound which will be containing what? So amino acid are the compound which will be containing at least one of the here made of the NS3 group as well as one of the carboxylic group or either in term you could say that the one of the NS2 group as well as what as well as here made of one of the carboxylic means the COH which is actually the acid group talking about this case in term of the example or either you could say that what are the particular amino acid example so just we have understood means in term of the here mean it will be containing okay fine in term of what in term of the one NS2 group then what then in term of one of the carboxylic group. So now let's elaborate it once in term of the detail. So primarily in term of the middle portion, you will be having what? So you will be having the N. Then on the other hand, the attachment with reference to your nitrogen will be literally taking place by the help of the two hydrogen. And on the middle process, or rather the portion, you will be having the carbon, particularly on the second branch. Then when we are talking about the upper portion, so it will be presents showing the presence of the R means the alkyl group. In the third, we will be having, rather in the bottom, we will be having the hydrogen. Then, likewise, the next process will be employed. Just we have understood means in term of what? Just we have understood means in term of the COOH. So the carbon attachment with reference to the oxygen, which is actually the diatomic in nature, will be by the help of the, here meant of the double bond, talking about the case of the hydrogen. So your carbon will be attached with reference to the single Board. Now, so talking about the next example, so this was actually, actually the example of your alpha amino acid, talking about the second case, so the process is somewhat same, but in the case of the middle portion, we will be having the here in terms of the R, then the C, then the H, and in terms of the beta amino acid, and the two of these process, rather it will be present in terms of the bond, means in terms of what, in of the R, then, then the C, then the particular H. Talking about the case of the gamma amino acid, remember what are actually the formula. So this will be actually showing the presence of three of these particular compounds or either the molecules in terms of the R, then the C, then the H, then again the R, C and the H, then again the R, C and H. Talking about the here meant of the uh, here meant of the RHS means the right hand side. So it will be showing the presence of what? So it will be showing the presence of the NH. 2 means the nitrogen will be present in top of the middle portion as well as the two hydrogen will be showing the presence one will be present in top of the top portion one will be present in top of the bottom portion then in the third phase we are having what then in the third phase we are having the C double bond O then the H talking about these cases means in top of the C double bond O as well as the H remember so the carbon will be attached with reference to your oxygen by the help of the double bond and again the bottom portion will be showing the attachment with reference to the carbon by the single bond with reference to your hydrogen. Now, so this was the condition when we are talking about the case of the alpha amino acid, literally the beta amino acid, then the gamma amino acid. So you could understand popularly that your amino acid are further being divided in terms of the three broad categories. So these are the alpha amino acid, then the beta amino acid, then the gamma amino acid. As well as we have just understood about the formula. So these are actually what? So these are the here the MAC. Then what? So we have did about the here meant of the MAC. Then we have often did about means MAC alpha beta gamma. Then what? Then again the N. So talking about here the N standing for what things? So now let's elaborate with reference to your case of the here meant of the alpha amino acid. So in this case we'll be having the N, then the NH2, then what? Then particularly the H, then what? Then particularly the TGT. 
so we are talking about the elaboration with reference to these shortcuts so here one of the n are literally standing for one so here one of the n you could understand that particularly here we are going to study about the alpha amino acid so in the case of the alpha amino acid so these are the natural amino acid of course then what so when we are talking about the properties of the alpha amino acid so this will be containing what so this should contain in terms of the alpha amino acid okay so your alpha amino acid should contain at least one ns2 group present on the carbon so this is the example of your alpha amino acid so as well as when we are talking about the case of the alpha amino acid you remember so these are little living produced by what so your alpha amino acid are little living produced by the hydrolysis of your protein and when we are talking about these cases means what are actually the protein so you are often very clear about that remember so proteins are the what so the proteins are the macro molecules of the amino acid so when the literally the amino acid will be present in terms of the chain or rather the sequence like arrangement so it will be showing the unique pattern of what of the protein and when we are talking about the case with reference to the example so these are being divided in terms of the three broad categories so these are what so these are the primary protein means the one degree structure then the secondary protein means the two degree structure then the tertiary protein in terms of the three degree structure often these are literally being divided in terms of the two to three unique unique characteristics such as what such as we are having the fibrous protein then the globular protein then what then the carotid protein so the carotid protein will be literally present in terms of the carotid phase as well as when we are talking about the case of these in terms of the fibrous protein will be showing its presence in terms of your nails as well as in terms of your hair talking about the case of the globular protein so it will be present in terms of the stomach or rather the abdominal region play important role to promote the hair in terms of the digestive system process so we have understood in terms of by the help of the formula such as what such as here in terms of the mac then what so the mac then the alpha beta gamma then the n and h so so when we are talking about these things means term of your alpha amino acid so these are actually what so these are showing the travelers name as well as these are showing the reflection with reference to your what so these are literally showing the reflection with reference to your compound and its sources rather the compound and its substances talking about the best example with reference to your alpha amino acid remember so these are the glycine then the tyrosine so when we are talking about these things means what are actually the glycine remember what so these glycines are literally being present in terms of the sweet and you are very clear means what are actually the sweet so the tyrosine is actually what so it is the actually the greek name of your here in terms of the sweet talking about the another case in terms of the what so we have did about the glycine then we are in the here in terms of the tyrosine talking about the case of the example or either the properties of your tyrosine so tyrosine is what so tyrosine is the greek name of your cheese talking about the case of the tyrosine so these are being obtained from what so these are being obtained from your cheese so this is some of the condition when we are talking about these cases means what are actually the biomolecules often here we have did about the bit introduction means what are actually the amino acid as well as we have discussed i mean this amino acid are the micro molecules of your protein a bit introduction we have did means what are actually the protein we have often understood about the criteria so in the case of the amino acid the molecule should contain at least one ns2 group then what then again the coh cooh means the carboxylic group often we have did about the bit introduction means what are actually the structural formula of your here means of the alpha amino acid remember so in this case on the lhs means the right hand side will be having the ns3 on the middle portion we are having the h particularly the r means the alkyl in the middle of course the carbon then in the bottom the hydrogen then on the lhs in the case of the alpha amino acid will be having the coh talking about the case of the beta amino acid the two presence will be shown by these components means in term of your r c then the h then again in this particular formula will be repeated mean term of the r here mean term of the c then the h 
talking about the case of the gamma amino acid so it will be showing the three of these resemblance means in terms of the r c h again the r c h and again the r c h on the lhs we are having the components with reference to your c o o h then on the rhs means the right hand side will be having the nh2 as well as what as well as we have often discovered that these amino acids are literally being divided in terms of the three broad categories so these are the alpha amino acid as well as the beta amino acid as well as the gamma amino acid a bit introduction we have often literally understood miss these amino acid are occurring in terms of its natural form a bit introduction means what are actually the specialized characteristics as well as function in it remember so these amino acid made up of the alpha amino acid are only formed from the hydrolysis of pure protein talking about this case means what are actually the hydrolysis means what so something will be breaking down or either the ions or either the molecules rather the compound or any substances breaking down will be taking place in the presence of the water or rather the aqueous molecules like the water medium coming under the case of the hydrolysis we have often did the beta introduction means these in terms of the alpha amino acid are actually travels name shown by these substances in terms of your alpha amino acid often we have understood that these are shown the reflection with reference to the compound and substances a bit introduction with reference to the base example of your alpha amino acid so these are the what so these are the glycine then the tyrosine they are the properties so the glycine are the sweet substances talking about the here when of the tyrosine so these are present down of the cheese so the tyrosine is actually the greek name of your cheese so you could often particularly write this so if you like the work with reference to the education as well as the lectures as well as the video so you could particularly subscribe then particularly like as well as comment below in the text thus i will be knowing that what concept actually you are hungry for or what haven't you understood or other got so very very thank you so very very thank you with reference to the rahul anand balaji tutorials